Welcome to California Central Coast in the Steinbeck family vineyard and winery here in Paso Robles. We're here with CZ USA, and they're introducing a brand new centerfire rifle platform, the Model 600. Follow along with us as we hunt these vineyards for some giant black-tailed deer, field test the new rifles, and show you why these rifles are going to be revolutionary for the hunter. In 2021, CZ USA is proud to introduce the new Model 600 Rifle Series. Manufactured at the factory in the Czech Republic, which is established nearly 100 years ago, CZ has become Europe's largest small arms manufacturer. But the new 600 is a rifle for the 21st century, and it diverges from the original Mauser design in improvements that will only benefit the shooter and the hunter. CZ 600 series rifles will come with either a steel or an aluminum receiver, depending upon the model and its intended use. It'll come in three action sizes, micro, short, and long. Micro is for the 223 class of cartridges. The short action, of course, is 308, and the long for uh, Magnum cartridges like the 300 Winchester. The micro action uses a three lug bolt, and the short and long action, a six lug bolt. Both lock directly into the barrel, not into the receiver, or into a barrel extension. This delivers precise concentricity from the bolt to the cartridge to the bore, which aids in accuracy. The bolt has a short 60 degree lift. This makes for fast shooting, but more importantly, it allows you to mount your scope much lower on the receiver. The bolt also features controlled round feed, which pays homage to the Mauser design. Controlled round feed prevents you from short stroking the action. A short stroke is when the cartridge fails to slip under the extractor and it jams, and you've got a rifle that won't shoot. With controlled round feed, it glides smoothly from magazine into the chamber. So the cool thing about a modular rifle is you can mix and match. You can combine different stocks with different barrels, and you can come up with a combination that fits your exact needs for your next hunt or just your favorite configuration for your all-around rifle. I've hunted the Central Coast a few times in the past. Uh, we've come out here with uh, Kevin and gone after turkeys and gone after pigs, but uh, the whole time, you know, I've been wanting to get something with some antlers. I mean, uh, you know, they've got uh, some cool blacktail out here. They're not the biggest deer in the world, but uh, they're definitely a cool deer. They're, they're a muley, and muleys are, are one of my favorite deer to hunt, and this hunt was no exception. One of the cool things about hunting mule deer is, you know, you're glassing up a lot of bucks, and you're making decisions on you know, which one do I want? What's my favorite? Am I gonna go for the widest one or the heaviest one or the oldest one or the one that has everything? And, you know, that's cool because we got to see each one of those bucks on this hunt. We got to see them down a very narrow path in between the, uh, in between the vines, but, uh, but it was cool. Every, uh, every time you look down one of those rows, you know, it's, you, don't, you don't know what you're gonna see because you can't see it from one to the next. I mean, as soon as you go five feet, you're into a different row. I mean, they're, they're 10 feet apart, so in the middle of the row, you move just a little bit, and it's a, it's a, you know, you open up a whole new window, right? You don't know what's gonna be there. It's gonna be a, a buck, a doe, a spike, a, a, you know, a couple fawns uh, running around. It, it's just, it's very cool that you see a lot of deer. You know, when you go into a gun shop today, there's a load of rifles on the rack, and you can't tell which is which. 
but that's not the case with CZ's new 600 series. And in additional episodes, we're gonna show you why.